We're about 40 games into the season. We're taking this yeah. big picture now. What do you think is the biggest storyline in Major League Baseball so far? Well, I, I think uh, for me as a former hitter, I think the lack of hitting. You know, this year there's, I know in April there were a thousand more strikeouts than hits in the major leagues. Uh, I, I think the trend is continuing here in May, but maybe not quite as uh, bad because the, the weather's warming up and the hitters are starting to come along. But I just think that the pitchers are so far the hitters. Uh, you see a lot of strikeouts in ball games. Uh, I, I think that uh, the way that hitters are trained now to try and hit the ball in the air, it makes it very difficult to hit that high fastball. And there's more hard throwing pitchers in baseball certainly than when I was playing years ago. And it makes it difficult to hit that high fastball when you're trying to lift the ball into the air. It's just not going to work. You know, Kenny, I can't remember a time when I felt that the pitchers had a greater advantage than right now. Uh, well, maybe before you were born, Nancy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you going back to the uh, Bob Gibson era when he had that 1.12 ERA in 1968. Uh, pitching was really at the zenith at that point. In fact, the pitchers were so dominating that they lowered the mound after that year. Uh, Gibson was, uh, I don't know how he lost nine games, but with a 1.12 ERA, uh, that's been the lowest in history. And, I, and he was just uh, amazing that year. And so were many other pitchers in baseball. And that's when they changed the rules. But uh, like I said, that was well before your time. And I don't think they're going to be that drastic by changing things now. It's just the hitters are going to have to make the adjustments. And before we let you go, I couldn't wait to ask you this question. What player <laughs> today reminds you of yourself? Ooh. <gasps> well, um, I, one came to mind, and it was because... Uh, he has a great on-base percentage. He hits around 300. Well, in my day, they didn't hit as many home runs as they hit now. In my day, if you hit 20 home runs and had a decent on-base percentage and hit 300, you were going to get a raise. This player does that and more. And uh, I'm thinking of Freddie Freeman of the uh, Atlanta wow. Braves. He was the MVP last year. And uh, to me, he's a tremendous player. Uh, he, he plays well on defense. Much better than I did in right field at, at first base. But uh, I, I just think he's the type of player that uh, kind of reminds me of myself. He won the MVP. I finished second one year, and I finished third one year. So congratulations to Freddie. I like that. You're our forever MVP. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. We'll see you in a bit for the call with Michael. You're the best. Thank you.